Cycle Solutions is your one-stop shop for upgrades and service. Cycle Solutions, Fort Myers, and CycleSolutions.com. Taking your bike from the street to the strip. Hi, this is Chris Waldo from Cycle Solutions. Coming to you from Balmy, Florida. It's about 147 degrees outside. I'm standing here with Tracy. We're going to do a video today specifically for people with anti-lock brakes on a modern Harley that have a Thundermax and want to know how to bleed them without taking it to Harley. So we're going to teach you some secrets. Tracy's going to lead this one. Well, we got three different styles of bleeder here. This is obviously the cheaper one that you can plug into your brake caliper and start pump until it builds pressure and it'll slowly suck your fluid through. Or you can go with the most expensive one. This is called a Orb from Snap-On. It works very well. I feel it's kind of cumbersome to use. So I have this medium one here that I like to use. It's a vacuola. It is for bleeding brakes. Any one of them works. Any one of them works just fine. Kill them. Um, so if you want to step up here, first thing we're going to do, remove our rear master cylinder cap, exposing the fluid. What I like to do is clean the fluid out of the reservoir first. It's amazing how much mucky stuff you get out of there, isn't it? Get in there, get all the mud and crap out of it. And you always check in here, make sure you got it all, it's nice and clean. And then we move to the back to where we're going to loosen our bleeder. And then we're going to install the hose onto the bleeder. Like I'll so. even hold it for him just to make sure we don't. And then, of course, we use brand new brake fluid out of an unopened container. I've already opened this container just for this little video. And then we're going to fill it. To the top, and then we're going to turn our bleeder on. Something important to know while you're doing this to know is this bike is not turned on. Do not turn the ignition on while you're doing this job. And what you're going to do is that's going to slowly pull the fluid out to the back of your caliper. And you just want to keep it full. I like to pull at least two or three full reservoirs through to make sure we get it all out because your caliper has areas in there that's holding fluid and want to suck all that out as well. And holding air for that matter, you'd be surprised just how much air you get out of the system. Right. How much better they work with fresh fluid. And per spec, you change your dot floor brake fluid every two years because they do collect moisture. And that's what takes a lot of these ABS units out is due to lack of fluid changes. So right now the fluid is going in the reservoir flowing through the system, through the ABS block, for the rear, right back through the line, out the caliper, and into the vacuum. No codes. So once you do that, make sure there's two or three full reservoirs through the back, you should have all it out. So that, you shut it off. Do that, take that guy back up. to get all the fluid out so it don't make a mess when you're done. Or a little pinch with your hands. And we're going to do the same thing on the front. The only difference is you got two calipers up front. Same principle. Pull your cap, loosen up, take your cap off, drain it, clean it, fill it, and repeat to both sides. Same for a clutch as well. Same for a clutch as well. And what I always like to do, I always replace the seal when I do it. Because this one here you can see is already starting to leak. And dot four brake fluid will eat your caps, your paint, everything. So be very careful with the fluid not to get it all over the place. Cover your gas tank, cover your fender. About as simple as that. That's it. So, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you prime it back up after you top it back off before you ride it. Make sure you got proper pedal pressure. We'll make some more videos going forward on some other little maintenance items. But no computer, no Harley dealership, no problem. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to be notified when new videos from Cycle Solutions are released, hit the like and subscribe button and follow us.